I began my license to carry a concealed weapon um, when I was 21 years old. Um, probably the biggest mistake of my life. <laughs> My name is Ferris, um, aka Bearded Muscle. I'm um, found me on L uh, IG, uh, Facebook, Ferris, I put me in the Ferris. Basically, I've been training from, with Mike since November. My story, basically, I'm going to start off with it when I was 18 years old, uh, a little bit over uh, 11 years ago, 29 now. Um, that 11 year journey was a journey, is a journey. The high school athlete, um, my parents were going through some financial situations. So instead of me going to college for basketball, I ended up uh, moving to Mansfield uh, to help my family with uh, you know financial situations, help out, you know, save some money, give it to my family. Didn't quite work out like that. Um, when I moved out, moved to Mansfield with my brother. Kind of got a little crazy, a little wild. You know, went out, spent my money on you know drinks, drugs, you name it, partying. Um, didn't really help my family out much. Um, young, naive, dumb, spending money on cars, clothes. We ended up losing our house, hanging out with some bad people, some ruthless, savage people, and just trying to fit in. Um, you know, what I want, I took it, didn't have it, I wanted it. Uh, ended up, uh, you know, getting into some trouble with drugs, guns. I began my license to carry a concealed weapon um, when I was 21 years old. Um, probably the biggest mistake of my life, but a blessing in disguise. Um, we went to New York for my 21st birthday, me and a few of my, a few of my friends. I just walk and mind our own business in the subway, and next thing I know, undercover, undercovers come up and ask us what we're doing. Me, you know, I got my, my, my uh, gun with me. I'm like, you know, what's the problem? You know, mind your own business. I didn't know they were, you know, they were cops. They ended up taking their badges out as NYPDs undercover, put your hands against the wall. So we all like put our hands against the wall. I love notifying them that I have my license carry concealed weapon, I have my gun on my person. So they take the gun out, you know, look at it, you know, check the serial numbers on it, everything came back registered to me, but I was in New York. They didn't acknowledge Ohio's license. So fine, going back and forth for 13 months, I was, uh, you know, going back, back and forth to court. In those 13 months, I ended up meeting my daughter's mom. She knew what was going on with uh, my situation. I ended up pleading to two years in prison, New York. I went to prison. Uh, October of 2010. Within two months of me being in prison, I got a letter from my daughter's mom saying that she was pregnant. So not only that I'm in prison, I got a baby on the way, and you know, basically going through it. She ended up leaving me while I was in prison. So that was, you know, not only that I'm coming home, going home to a daughter, you know, all my friends gone, no one wrote me but my family. So I knew I had to change my life. Like, what am I gonna do when I come home? Pretty much like, you know, it's not only me I'm living for, it's my daughter I'm living for. So everything I did, I had to change because of her. So when I came home, I tried to see my, my daughter, and my daughter's mom wouldn't let me. So I'm fresh out, not knowing what I'm gonna do with my life, and I came to see my daughter. So that was another hit. Um, started fighting to see her. Um, I hired a lawyer, working every single day of my life, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. trying to. Uh, pay money for a lawyer, and then I didn't have no, you know, stress reliever. So while I was in prison, I worked out to kill time. So I started working out again. Um, started eating bad, but working out at the same time. Not making any results. Gaining weight, stress, out of my mind. If you look at a picture from how I looked when I got out to how I look now, it's like stress heavy. Now you know, fit athlete, glowing. You know, look good. Just, you know, stress free. But the fact that going through court for two years, trying to see my daughter, being accused of different stuff, and then the fact that, you know, everything happens for a reason. You know, I got shared custody of her now. I see her almost every week. Um, we have a very, very good relationship. Come November, this past November, I decided that, you know, enough is enough. I, after, you know, two torn ACLs, um, I wanted to get in shape. So now that I had all that behind me, you know, I'm on, I own three businesses now. Um, worked every single day, saved up money after, you know, spent all that money with my daughter. Um, opened up one business, too. Now I'm on my third. I'm looking for a fourth, but I'm trying to, you know, get in my foot into the fitness industry at the same time. So that's my backbone, my income. This is just entertainment. Instead of going out partying like I was, it's for entertainment. I use this 
and I feel I feel amazing. That's pretty much uh, my journey and to where I'm, I am now. My second competition Saturday. Uh, my first one was just to get my feet wet. It was fun. So looking to have fun here in Dayton and hope to see y'all there. So that's my story. Bearded Muscle X2. Follow me on IG. I'm out. Thanks for watching. And as always, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and please be sure to check out all of our social media listed below.